Today I'm gonna to try and bake the hardest dish that I can find on the internet. I've tried making macaroons before. First time I did it, it didn't go well. And then I tried a second time, and the second time I actually did a lot better. So let's see if I can transfer any of my baking experience from making macarons onto the next dish that I'm going to make now. I don't know what it is because I still have not collected my internet. All right, here we go. Let's dive into the dark web and find AK-47 baking dishes. Hardest thing to bake in the world ever, ever. Eclairs, are eclairs hard? Should I make an eclair? I actually like eclairs. Are eclairs difficult to make? Show pastry is notoriously difficult to make. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna make eclairs. I've never made eclairs before. The so next step is now to find the ingredients and buy the ingredients and bake the ingredients. Gotta check this recipe. Oh my God, I hate these food recipes that give me backstory. This is not an anime. You're doing character development for an eclair. Eclair is one of the best European desserts that anyone can bake at home. No, it's not. That's your opinion. What if someone's allergic to eclairs? Now they're gonna have one of the best European desserts and they're gonna die. Eclairs recipe. Let's see what ingredients I need. Oh, I've been talking so much for everything. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the Air Up bottle. So um, Air Up, if you're watching this, sponsor me. Okay, I need milk, I need sugar, salt, butter, flour, and egg, and powdered sugar. You know bacon stuff, they all have the same ingredients. And it's so weird because they're so versatile. Like they all look and taste so different, but it's always eggs, flour, sugar, butter. It's like humans. We're literally all composed of the same thing, but everyone's so different. Some food historians speculate that eclairs were first made by Antoine Carême. I don't care. The eclair originated during the 19th century. This is not a Netflix original. Why do we need all this character development? Oh my God. Oh yeah, I can't, I'm scrolling through this. This seems so long. I can't do This seems like a science experiment. I'm not baking. I'm creating electrons. I'm reading a dissertation on how to make eclairs. Okay, I'm gonna go get my ingredients now for the time being. So, you know, sit tight, get comfortable, get cozy, pause the video, get some snacks, get ready for a baking masterclass and um, enjoy the ad break. Yeah, by the way, this is the Error Bottle. So, um, Error, if you're watching this, sponsor me. Hello, Amazian. Uh, we'd love to sponsor you. I don't think this disguise is working. Instead of cosplaying as an Arab employee, I'm gonna play a game by myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the other Amazian, which I keep um, in the garage. It's coming over now. Come, take a seat, take a seat. All right, so what we wanna do is I'm gonna give you some random flavors, put them in the Arab bottle, and you have to taste them and guess what it is. Bear in mind, like, it's just tap water inside it. It uses your sense of smell to make you think that you're drinking something flavored, and it's not flavored, okay? Are you ready? Do you understand the rules of the game? Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's so weird, I'm literally talking to myself. All right, so first flavor. Don't look, don't look. Alright, first thing I'm gonna put is this one. I don't I don't wanna say it out loud in case you can hear me. What you gotta do? So we just put this thing on and then you just slide it up like this. You have to guess what flavour it is. I'm gonna put it underneath here because I haven't edited the frame yet. I'll put the bottle down there, you just grab it. Winter apple. Oh, and now I have to do a fake reaction as if someone actually said something. Well done! Okay, we're, we're gonna do one more flavour. Now I got this flavour. So anyways, then put in the new flavour. Now give it underneath. Yeah, you just grab that. What do you think it is? Pineapple. No. Cherry. No. Avocado. No. Watermelon. No. Peach. Yes, you got it right. Finally, after five tries. You can get out of the frame now. All right, three, two, one. Thank you. So to recap, Aerox basically a bottle that allows plain water to taste like something. When I use this, it means I'm not ingesting any sugar, sweeteners, or additives, but I still got a taste of peach in my mouth, which is currently my favourite flavour. And you could grab your Aerox bottle using a link in my bio for a way for you to drink water that tastes like something else. Welcome to the future. Let's go and try and bake some. Wait, what am I even making? I forgot. One of the hardest things in the world. Anyways guys, ad break over. I've got all my ingredients. I hope that didn't take up too much of your time and you didn't get too bored. But um, hopefully now, let's do some baking together. All right, so I've got all my ingredients here. Firstly, we got milk. Actually, you know what? Let me put this over the table so we can look nice and bakery. Ooh, should I do it using normal methods or should I do it using magic? Um, let me see how much magic energy I have for the rest of this video. Okay, 30. That should be enough. Okay, ingredients. I'm gonna try to do this with maximum efficiency. It's currently um, 9.37 p.m. We've got milk, we got corn flour, we've got some double cream, not to be confused with single cream, currently got a divorce. We've got some unsalted butter, we've got some egg, plain flour, we've got some vanilla extract once again, pure cane caster sugar. Okay, that should be everything. Yeah, that is everything. That's not a lot of ingredients. Am I actually gonna make a clears? I don't know. It looks like I'm just gonna make bread. All right. Hydration. Now that I've laid all the ingredients out on the table, I don't know what to do next. Oh, get my laptop out. All right, let's see what we actually have to do here. Okay, so step one, we need to start by making a custard filling. We need to heat the milk until almost boiling in a saucepan. Oh, we need to like actually heat stuff this time. All right, so we got our pan here. So I got this thing. Oh yes, got our measuring cups. This is all the ammunition we need for baking. The egg whisker. I don't know where the, the antenna thingies are. Oh, here they are. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, so first I need to start off. I need to make the custard filling. So heat the milk until almost boiling in a saucepan. I need 125 milliliters of milk. So one of these. All right, that's 125 milliliters of milk. Heat the milk until almost boiling in a saucepan. This isn't a saucepan. What's this? This is a pot. What's a saucepan? Let me search out what's a saucepan. Oh, wait, these are called saucepan. Why? Because if I were to make a sauce, oh, you'd put the sauce in the pot to make the sauce. It's a pan that you cook sauce in. Anyways, let's put that on the heat. You know, in my old kitchen, the thing had fire and I used to always like zoom in into the fire as I turn it on. And now this is what we're gonna have to do instead. It's just not as dramatic. Wow. Flames. Whoever's editing this add like flames coming up. Whoever's editing this add like flames coming up. 
No. Okay, next step is to, oh, I'm still on the, what is the saucepan? Okay, next step is to mix together the sugar, egg yolks, and vanilla in a bowl. Here we have the box. How much sugar do we need? Pinch of sugar. This, see, this unit of measure, measurement annoys me as well. Because like, some people, you know when they pinch, they go like this. And then some people, they'll just go like, they'll pinch you like this with their fingernails. Which pinch are they referring to? But you know, as they say, the sweeter the butter, the sweeter the juice. Okay, let's get a pinch of this out. There we go. Oh, it's under my fingernails now. I don't like it. Wait, the milk's boiling. No, the milk boiled. Damn. Oh my God, what happened to, the, my milk turned into cheese. Bro, look at this. My milk milk turned into cheese, like it actually smells of, it smells of cheese as well. Well, it smells like buttery cheese. How did this happen? But the pinch of salt literally looks like there's nothing here. This is what a pinch of salt looks like. Mix the egg, the sugar, egg yolks, and vanilla in a bowl. Wait, I need 300 milliliters of milk for the custard filling. And then I need 50 grams of caster sugar. It's not one pinch of sugar. It's 50 grams, apparently. I need like a bowl or something. Oh, look, I have this. It's like this one had kids. I don't know who the dad is. Maybe there was no father. Maybe it's like Mary. Okay, so it's currently at zero grams. Let's put this in. Make it go up to 50. 26, 33, 37, 38, 45, 49, 50. 50 on a dot. All right, we'll pull this in. Wait, what's the milk saying before I turn it into cheese again? Okay, it's fine. Why did it turn into cheese before? You think he was taking a picture? All right, so how many eggs do I need? Two egg yolks. All right, there we go. That's one egg yolk. Oh, it looks bare cute. That actually looks like I cooked an egg. Can you see? If you can't, it looks like I cooked an egg. Next egg yolk. All right, I put both of the egg yolks in here. The milk still heating up and I need one tablespoon of vanilla extract, which is one tablespoon should be what? You know what? I've used tablespoons enough. I should be able to know how much one tablespoon is. It doesn't even smell of vanilla. It smells of shampoo, bro. All right, so I'm imagining there's a tablespoon here and I'm just like, oh, let me just put one tablespoon in here. So, oh, okay, here's the tablespoon. There we go. We added everything in. Meanwhile, mix together the sugar, egg yolks, and vanilla in a bowl. Then stir in the flours a couple tablespoons at a time. Four tablespoons of plain flour and corn flour. No, four teaspoons. Oh my God, it said one teaspoon of vanilla extract, not tablespoon. Why did I read it as tablespoon? Plain flour and corn flour. So here's the corn flour. Hydration. Okay, we're gonna mix this and then we're gonna add the teaspoons of the flowers. Where's the other flour? Where's the other? Hello. All right, let's mix that. I don't like the texture of this, it's not very nice. Okay, now we got the, we need four of these. You know a teaspoon, yeah? This could be a teaspoon, right? Because I've covered the whole teaspoon, but when does it end? How much upwards does it have to go? Because look, if I do this, yeah, this is a lot, but it's still fitting on a teaspoon. Like what counts as a teaspoon? Four of this one as well. One, two, three, four. Okay, all right, we'll continue mixing this all together. It said it's meant to turn into a smooth paste. Milk check. Oh, damn, it's boiling now. All right, all right, get off the stove. This is getting smoother. Okay, this should be a smooth paste. Look at that. Any smooth paste experts who let me know in the comments if this is a smooth paste. All right, so gradually whisk in the hot milk. I don't have a whisk. I've got this though. Can I use this as a whisk? You know what? Instead of using a whisk, I'm going to whisk it in with this. Okay, yeah, this should be smooth paste. So now pour in the hot milk slowly. Grab the milk. All right, we need 300 milliliters of milk. This is 100. Oh, look, the milk got bogey. All right, that's 100. That's 200. 300. All right, and now we slowly put in the milk. I have to put this in slowly, mix them together. And then once I'm done whisking that in, I need to put everything back in the saucepan and mix it there. We'll just go. Uh, can I not just, why? You know, in baking, why does everything have to be gradual? Why can't you just put everything in together? Let me try using this whisk. I mean, I don't know, does this count as a whisk or not? Day in the life of an electric hand whisker. So I start my day by electric hand whisking. Oh, that smells bare I, I want to drink this. Okay, I think this is mixed enough. I need to put it back in the saucepan on high heat, mix it together until it's lumpy. What's currently looking like? And it says use a wooden spoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spoon that's made out of wood. That's not nice. I thought that was going to be nice. I need to stir this constantly for like five minutes. Oh, it's going lumpy. All right, it says do this for about five minutes. Here. Come on, mate. Oh, my glasses. That though, that's not my notification sound. It said it will go lumpy. This isn't lumpy. This is actually quite smooth. Look at that. Quite Michael Jackson. Is that enough? All right, that should be enough, I think. What am I supposed to do next? Let's come back to this section. We're just gonna put the camera angle there. Lay a sheet of cling film directly on the custard surface, then cool and chill until you're ready to fill the buns. What does that even mean? I can't lie, I'm just gonna put them in a bowl and then cover the bowl with cling film. Ugh, this does not look nice. That sounded satisfying. I think I overcooked it. Oh, that's hot. I don't wanna burn my house. Actually, I don't even mind. Okay, I don't think this is what I was supposed to make. Look at this. Look at this texture, bro. Leave that to the side. To make the show buns or shooks buns, we need to mix the flour with the sugar and a pinch of salt. So let's get the flour. How many grams? A billion. 140 grams. 96, 103, 141. No! Get back in. There we go, that's 140. No, it's actually 142. Why did it, how did it gain weight? Was the flour eating itself in there? What we put in here. All right, next we need a pinch of sugar. That should be a pinch and a pinch of salt. Why do you need to add salt? Doesn't the salt just counteract the sugar? In my head, if you mix sugar and salt together, it will just make bland. It's like doing plus one and minus one, zero. There we go, that's a nice little pinch. And it's not even the first day of the month. Oh, I was meant to sift it in. I'm gonna pour this back in here. Please don't fall. Okay, we're doing all right. Uh, I think the most therapeutic part of baking is the sifting process. That's what I'm talking about. Look, look at this. It's going from this to this. 
It's like, I just got rid of all this acne. Oh, look at that. I'm actually a professional sister. Oh, that looks so nice and sifted. Pour the milk and butter into a medium saucepan. Oh, we have to do saucepans again, bro. So here's the second pan. This one's actually called, it doesn't have a name. It's a saucepan. Okay, I need 125 milliliters of milk. That should be 125. Put that in here. And then we need 100 grams of butter. Uh, excuse me, mate, you're gonna have to scooge up a bit more. Oh, let's do a butter packet unboxing. So this is President Butter. Um, so you open it and what you see inside is the butter. It's a lot of butter. This goes in here. And then add 125 milliliters of water. Okay, that's 125 milliliters of water. So we're gonna turn this on and then put it on medium heat. You, you're gonna melt. Okay, the butter's melted. Look at it, it looks like a dream. Look at this, I'm gonna ruin it, yeah? Are you ready? Okay, apparently now I need to increase the heat until the liquid comes to a fast rolling boil. And then once it's boiling, I need to turn off the heat and put the sifted flour and beat vigorously with a wooden spoon. I thought bacon was meant to be calm and therapeutic. Now it's turning into MMA. I'm gonna get a close up of it bubbling because I think it'll look cool. Okay, that's it bubbling now. It doesn't look as cool as I anticipated. All right, now, um, what do I need to do? Why am I asking you? Now it says I need to add the flour in and mix at the same time. Uh, this does not look nice. It says mix vigorously, innit? Look at the vigor. How long do I have to do this for? Until I have smooth dough that comes away from the sides of the pan. Oh, this looks nice and smooth. I feel like this is smooth enough. All right, let's put the camera back. Oh my days, this tripod is bare long. Look, longest vlogging camera ever. Let's give you a house tour, guys. So here we have the house. House tour complete. Okay, now I need to get a large dinner plate and spread it over a large dinner plate. Where is it? Where are you? Here you are. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, you're doing nice and smooth and perfectly mixed. Oh, okay, that's good. All right, let's plop this in. Big. Oh, that looks like a brain. That's like a lamb brain. Mmm, it doesn't smell nice, I lied. And then spread it over the plate. This is quite satisfying, I like this. This part is fun. Spread over large dinner plate to cool to hand temperature. What? <laughs> Seems like a pretty cool guy. All right, so I'm just gonna leave that there then. Allow to cool for a few minutes, then gradually add the eggs. All right, I think the thing has cooled down now. So me and Kenzie are gonna make it together. Isn't it, Kenzie? Are we gonna make it together? <coughs> Why? <coughs> You're tired? Okay, you can go to sleep. Say bye to the people. <coughs> now I'm back, I need to wash my hands quick. So I need to put this back in here. This should have cooled down. Let's peel it off. I want it to feel like a sticker. Look, grand reveal. Let's see what's beneath the layer. Oh my God, it looks like it's, it's a plate. All right, now we need to add the eggs in. Brexit does not apply here. Okay, let's begin with the uh, placement of eggs in here. One egg. Now we mix it. Oh, I'm gonna fold it in. It's gonna make it nice and cozy. Oh guys, where's the egg gone? Oh, uh, this is bare slimy. I don't like this. I'm gonna do it with my eyes closed. Oh, I can still hear it, man. It sounds like someone chewing. This texture's not nice. The sound is not nice. Egg number two. Oh, this is not nice. Even look how it's slodging up and down. Let me give you a close-up of the sound. This is not ASMR, this is ASS. Egg number three. Oh my God, I smacked it too hard. Just can't contain my rage. Final egg, egg number four. Last but not first. We're almost there. Mix it until the mixture reluctantly drops off the spoon. So it needs to drop off the spoon without wanting to drop off the spoon. That didn't look reluctant. It looked quite happy to get off the spoon. Carry on mixing. Remember, I'm never fighting an old lady that does a lot of baking. Their forearms must be hench. It still looks quite happy to come off the spoon. Okay, this, I've been mixing this for ages. It just, it, it's not reluctant. So I'm bringing in reinforcements. I'm using the egg mixer. Come here. What if I just threaten it with the egg mixer? Do you think it will be more reluctant to come off? If I don't actually put the thingies in. Let me try it now. No, it's still coming off. You thought I was bluffing. I forgot I shouldn't take it out whilst it's spinning. Oh, it's gone all over my laptop. I got egg all over my laptop. Should I just put my laptop in the oven? See if it turns into a cyborg eclair. Still too like gooey. I think I added in too much egg. Bro, it's midnight now. I hope this isn't loud. Wait, can you just try and keep it down? That's it, keep it down. Okay, I can't lie. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It doesn't look like it's gonna get smoother than this. And now, what's the next step? Excited, we're almost there. Cut two large sheets of baking parchment. On each one, draw two sets of track lines with a 10 centimeter gap. Oh, this has gone from baking to science and biology to now arts and crafts. I'm just doing every single GCSE in one video. Yeah, I think that's too long. What should I do with this? I feel like I wasted it. Just turn it into a plane. Oh look, this is the A53 Boeing Airbus going to Dubai. It actually went quite far. It landed in Senegal. I remember this technique from last time, put it in each corner to help this paper stick down. What's the next step? I don't have a piping bag. I think I threw them away. Threw my piping bags away, so I'm gonna have to use this again. Can I pull this all in like this? I need to turn it to face the camera because I am filming a video. Come on, man. Oh, I feel like this is gonna fall. Please don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Yeah, this is the part I always hate, man. Okay, if I can leave that stay in there. Grab this, I can throw everything in. Come on, stay there, stay there. No, 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 don't, don't tip, don't tip, no! And of course, there's the leaning tower of pizza. Just stay. Look at it, it just died. Do, 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 do. Oh, I love this part, it's so satisfying. Okay, I've added most of it in, I'm not adding all of it in because it's gonna actually just aggravate me and I'm gonna start beating eggs again. So apparently this is meant to be the main eclair bit. So we have to snip this off. Let me get my scissors. All right, I don't know how big to make this. So I'm gonna go for, oh, I've already cut it. Never mind. I'll just have to go all the way. I think I did it too fat, bro. Oh, I did it too fat, didn't I? 
E, stop, 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 no, stop. Oh my God, no, it didn't stop. I need to find a way to make it stop. Bang, and stop, stop, please. Okay, here, and stop, 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 okay. Okay, stop, 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 stop. That glob, oh my God, it's scary. Oh, this is not looking great. How did I fumble at the end? Actually, I probably fumbled at the start, innit? Oh, my eclairs are not gonna be good eclairs. They're gonna be misbehaved eclairs. Look at that, bro. That one needs to hop on a treadmill. At least I'm inclusive. Look, they're all different shapes and sizes. I think the only one that's eclair looking is that one. And it's not even clear, it's unclear. Anyways, I'm gonna put them in the oven now. I can't lie, this fat one is pissing me off. I'm gonna give it a little shape up, take it to the barbers, give it a little skin fade. I don't think this is helping. I think this is making it lose its self-esteem. Oh, I could just give some of this guy's weight to here. This is like a BBL. There you go, liposuction. I'm gonna put this in the oven now. I'm feeling very deflated at the moment. This is like macarons round two, and I'm tired as well. And I'm, oh. anyways, I'm gonna put these in the oven. Brev, 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 brev. I was just chilling in another room and I smell burning. So I'm gonna have to open this and see. That is not eclairs. I didn't make eclairs. I don't know what this is. Let me just show you. Who's ready to see some nice looking eclairs? This is the wrong video. Are you seeing this, brev? That is not an eclair. All right, apparently I can take them out of the oven now. Here we have some eclairs that are clearly not eclairs. Let's try and analyze this and see what went wrong. Okay, so here from my analysis, everything is incorrect. Do you know what I think I did wrong? I think this mixture is not thick enough. You can see like it's risen a little bit. It has gone up a bit and it's kind of like fluffy on the inside. So you can see the inside. This seems like something you can fill up with the custard thing that I made earlier. Let me even check that. Okay, so this is the custard thing I made earlier. This was the first thing I made. I actually forgot about it. I just remembered that I made this. So this is what's supposed to go inside here. This is not going inside anyway. This is hard. This is not custard. This is custard if it went gym. It feels like it just has muscle, bro. Should I try it or is it, am I gonna die? I don't really know what it tastes of. It doesn't taste nice though. Let me taste this. This tastes nice. This tastes really nice. Bro, this kind of does have like eclair texture. Like it kind of tastes like the outside bit of an eclair. It just doesn't look like it or feel like it. This is disgusting, whatever this is. It's supposed to be the custard, it is not custard. This is nice though. See, this was meant to be nice and silky smooth. Instead, I created an alien baby. And the texture of this was meant to be like a bit more firm. I got the textures the, the wrong way around. This looks like a slipper. I made a slipper, bro. I can see where the eclairness would come from. But no, I didn't do very well at this. It's clear that I'm not good at this. What is this supposed to be? You can play tennis with this. It bounced. Why does the custard bounce? All right, some of it flew on my face. Why is it fighting back? Anyways, um, Eclairs 1, Amazian 0. It's almost 2 a.m. right now. I can say I have been defeated by Eclairs. Thank you so much for watching. I haven't eaten since 5 p.m., so that's good. Oh yeah, guys, I'm close to hitting 300K on YouTube. That's a huge number. Imagine 300,000 people. Like, Wembley Stadium has like a capacity of like 80,000 people. Imagine the whole of Wembley Stadium. Every single seat is taken up. That's 80,000 people. I'm close to hitting 300,000 on YouTube. That's like almost four Wembley Stadiums of people. That's crazy, man. We're 10K away now. I think I'm on 290,000. Let's try and hit 300,000 by the end of 2037.